this video will be on the basic function and basic navigation of a Woodman Controls temperature control system. Um, looking at the screen, I picked a rather large project that has a lot of equipment on it. Um, this would be uh, a, one of the more advanced size systems. Uh, the only thing that would get more advanced to this is campus type situations at colleges uh, where you'd be looking at more of a map style and you just click to the building and when you click to the building you'll end up on a page like this. So I want to go around the outside edges and kind of explain how this is set up. The center screen here, as you can see, it's kind of a picture inside of a picture. The inside is what changes to what you're working on or whatever you've clicked on. This outside function or the outside area showing the equipment, floor plans, and the items across the top, system online, all of that is constant through the whole system. So no matter where, what page you're at or what you're looking at, you'll always be able to look at the same stuff. So, starting at the bottom, the equipment section, depending on whether you have chillers or boilers or air handlers or lots of equipment, like in this one we had to break it into equipment summaries because there was even more than we could list there. Typically all your major equipment will be listed there. Again, I'll just point and click to get to those equipment summaries. Right above there you'll have floor plans, and this is the best part of the navigation on big multi-level buildings, such as this. You're able to click and get through the different areas of the building uh, rather quickly, uh, even before your graphics come up. In many cases, the graphics, when they come up a little bit slower, you're stuck kind of waiting for everything to load. And in this case, you can just click straight through as fast as you want to whatever area you want to go. The top summary one will always take you back to the main summary page. The Woodman Controls logo um, very simply just goes to our website. I'm not going to do that here. Um, home. Um, depending on the type of system, home is typically always going to take you back to this same screen here. Or in some cases, home could be a campus summary or a more overall picture if it's multiple buildings tied together. Scheduling is going to take you to the scheduling tab. There's another video on how the schedules work, but the scheduling tab is just taking you through all the different parts and pieces for doing the whole building. So no matter what area of the building you're in, or no matter what you're looking at, for example, if we're looking at a heat pump, we always have our tab up there available. So when we look at our schedule setup, we're in Schedule 1, you can quickly and easily get to Schedule 1 and find out exactly what that unit's running on. History, um, same as everything else. Uh, you can get histories on any or all equipment, extension managers, chart builders, audit histories, so you can see what's actually been going on in the facility. Alarms. This will give you uh, basically all the bits and pieces for everything that's happening in the building. So it's a good summary. You can go back, see the database maintenance, class managers, um, all, the, all the different parts and pieces you might have to work on. Weather, uh, very simply, is just the National Weather Service, how it's being brought into the system. And in this case, we have outside air CO2, so there's a couple other little things and a few... Uh, a few little bits about what's going to happen today and tomorrow. The advanced summary is something newer that we have started. The advanced summary uh, has a user manager, an override summary, and then a for service tab. The for service tab is just listing our current phone numbers and addresses so you can always get a hold of us. The override summary takes a little longer for it to come up, but what this does is scan the entire building, all the systems, all the control points, and look for anything that's an alarm. Now we won't sit here and wait for it now because this can take a little bit of time to get done, but this is a huge, really great feature uh, when you have a big building like this and you've been making changes for days, weeks, months, all summer. You can go look and it's an easy way to remember what you've, what you've left overridden, economizers overridden shut, things like that. The energy tab, if so equipped, and this one's not, we have energy management tools that would, this would uh, be a link into a dashboard where you'd be able to see, for example, power monitoring, uh, load limiting, all that kind of stuff. The system online, this is just showing whatever piece of equipment you're looking at. So right now, this is showing that the building is online. Obviously, we're looking at it. But if we look at a particular room, this is showing that this controller is online. So whatever you're looking at is showing it online. If there's something off, you'll see it turn yellow and flash red, possibly, if there's a fire alarm. Um, that's a good kind of overall part of whatever's happening in the system. 
alarms. There's a few active alarms here, but they're non-critical. Uh, there's no critical alarms going on in the building, and this customer doesn't really un acknowledge their alarms very often, so that's, that's why there's really no um, acknowledged alarm. This is where you log off the system. Just a simple click, log off. Uh, save if you want to save your database and back it up somewhere. Typically it auto saves, so you really don't have to do this very often unless you've made a bunch of changes and you want to make sure it gets saved. It does an auto backup about once a day. Export, this is simply for being able to export your graphic or whatever you're looking at directly to a PDF file. So if you want to email us or take screen captures, you can do this from the web browser. You can do it from anywhere. And then the legend down below, very simply, it's on every screen, no matter what you're working on. There are colors in the background to everything working here. So if it's in override, it'll show you override. If there's something broken, it'll turn orange and fault. Yellow, you'll see that means offline. Um, right on down through, this room is obviously warm, so we're showing a red color on the space temperature. And you see the same thing back on the floor plan. It's showing the red temperature, so you know it's offline. Or, I'm sorry, you know that it's warm. So anyway, this is a real brief overview of the uh, navigation system for Woodman Controls. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Thank you.